Hello everyone, welcome. It's me again, Indah Melinda Sari from Wonderland Consulting. It's an honor for me to be able to see you again in this opportunity. Today, I'll bring you another update for, for citizenship applications in Australia. As a registered migration agent and was once a migrant myself, it's my turn to give you all the information needed about visa updates and migration to Australia along with my unique insight. But first, like this video, click subscribe and stay informed with us. Before we get into the latest news, I want to draw your attention to the latest information on the screen. As you can see, according to the Australian government, you, as a New Zealand citizen, can apply for Australian citizenship directly after being granted a subclass 189 or skilled independent visa. The great news did not stop there. The Department of Home Affairs got updated with great news again in April this year. On the 22nd of April this year, the Australian government announced an update of citizenship requirements for New Zealand citizens in Australia. Now you're wondering, what is that? Starting from July 1st, New Zealanders who have lived in Australia for four years or more can now become Australian citizens without needing another permanent visa, in which you can apply for Australian citizenship with a few more things you need to do to finish the application. So what do you need to know for the other essential requirements when you no longer need to grant another permanent visa? Well, as an eligible New Zealand citizen, to apply for Australian citizenship, you must be have been residing in Australia for four years or more. You must hold an SCV or Special Category Visa or the Subclass 444 after February 26, 2001. Importantly, you must meet the other requirements for an Australian citizenship application. You may have questions about how receiving different conditions before or after July 1st could impact your ability to apply for Australian citizenship. The good news is that the Australian government has identified three possible scenarios that could affect New Zealand citizens with a special category visa and provided guidance on the following steps. One, every New Zealand citizen with an SCV will be regarded as a permanent resident for citizenship purposes. Second, citizens of New Zealand who receive an SCV before July 1st, 2022 will have their period of permanent residency for citizenship purposes backdated to July 1st, 2022. Third, if you receive the SCV on or after July 1st of 2022, you're considered as permanent resident since the grant date. But what, what happens if you have left Australia? Don't worry. This will apply for all New Zealand citizens who are offshore, as long as you held an SCV subclass 444 before leaving Australia. A friendly reminder. There is also a great news for you if you hold a SCV and give birth to a child on or after 1st of July 2022. You must note that the backdating of permanent residency for SCV holders will impact your child. How? You may ask. This is important to know that any child of an SCV holder born in Australia on or after July 1st, 2022 may automatically be granted Australian citizenship at birth. Yes, this also includes when your children meet these requirements, they can apply for evidence of citizenship in Australia. Wonderful, isn't it? You might be questioning about what leads Australia to, to these changes. These changes are driven from the Australian government awareness of Kiwi's contribution to the country. With that in mind, the government believes Kiwis with great contribution should be able to apply for Australian citizenship and get all the good stuff that comes with it. The update is also in line with the Australian government's agenda in creating a more suitable, organised and welcoming migration system. Before I'm wrapping this up, the update might indicate that you have widened the open opportunity to settle in Australia with the quickest and straightforward process. It does not close the doors that the government might make great changes again in the future. So there are the new changes 
for New Zealanders in Australia who wish to apply for Australian citizenship. You can also check out the website to learn more about Australian citizenship while this update might affect you. And if you have any more questions, do not hesitate to reach us at Wonderland Consulting. We also assure you that if you need assistance with your wife visa issue, whether you just need some advice or want us to organize and submit the application, you can find our contact details in the description of this video and pinned in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content and all the latest immigration and visa updates in Australia with us. I'm Indah Melinda Sari from Wonderland Consulting. See you in another change.